Good Friday morning to you. Happy Friday, yay, you made it. Yes, 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 you made it. Congratulations, you made it through the week. And I hope it was a pleasant week. And I uh, hope you took uh, my advice yesterday and got most of what you needed to do done yesterday so that you can have a relaxing Friday today. However, however you did it, I know that you're doing well and uh, let's cheer each other on, shall we? Who am I? I am Kitty Andrews with DeclutterTheBrain.com. Uh, providing provide and providing personalized decluttering solutions to people challenged with overwhelm and procrastination is that you hmm? maybe yeah a little bit sometimes yeah I know it's okay me too uh, so they can thrive in a calm and productive environment hmm. Does that sound like something you'd like to learn more about is how you can thrive in a calm and productive environment all right hold that one thought i am the one lady after all hold that one thought and we'll give you your next step your one step to take in about five minutes from now after the friday funny this week we're talking about simplifying uh decluttering your meal times now life life can be complicated enough without having to worry about what on earth you're going to eat so make the decision to take the overwhelm out of meal times um, and trust me, a, a few simple steps that turn into habits, and and you're you oh, you you won't recognize your life. Trust me. The first thing you want to do now that you've made that decision is plan your meals. The calendar is your friend, and you may want to get the family involved in this. Uh, makes their life easier too. And uh, Tuesday could be taco night, uh, Wednesday pasta night. This reduces decision fatigue through the week if you can pre-plan it and um, and that's too much for you i've got uh, yes all my meals are written here in tiny print um um but but i've got it down to a routine i know exactly what all of these little boxes say but i'm addicted to writing it down it just it just calms my my busy brain to have it written down can't plan all of that? Okay, plan one, how many? One meal type, uh, breakfast. I can't plan all my breakfast, kitty. Then plan the Monday breakfast. I'll eat peanut butter toast on Monday. That's gonna feel so good that you're going to, I think I should plan Tuesday too, Rice Krispie, whatever it is, right? Um, anyway, this just really makes life easier. Now, what that does also, planning it, is, when you're running, you now you know what you want or will need uh, and what you have. So when you're running low on something, you can write it down immediately on uh, your phone, your whiteboard, a piece of paper. Don't leave the piece of paper on the, on the counter when you go to the grocery store like my dear father did, he used to do. Um, anyway, you can save money this way because you can buy it in bulk if things are on sale and is it's it really it really does help so you've planned what you're what you're eating now you put it on a shopping list you could even leave the tuna can on the counter until you've written it down it, it won't stay there that long trust me on that uh all right so now we're time blocking it and it's a good idea from a time management point of view to designate one or two time blocks to pick up those supplies and one or two short time blocks uh, to, I use two time blocks because I get bored easily, uh, to prep the food, make your kale salad, I know, um, <laughs> your homemade soup, I know, okay, I, I really do eat healthy, I have to struggle to keep weight on, okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, and your sandwiches, whatever it is, and just, just having them done. Do I enjoy doing it? No, not particularly. It's tedious. It's boring. However, I thank myself every Monday, from Monday to Friday, I say thank you, Kitty, for getting all this done for me before. Hey, okay, now today we're talking about freezing it. Freeze as much as you can, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to feel like Christmas when you don't have to cook. I tell you what, last night, uh, I didn't have something planned, and I just prayed that I had pasta night. I prayed that I had some, some sort of frozen pasta in the freezer, and Lord have mercy, I did. And it it just made all the difference in the world, because I, you know, I was done work at 
nine o'clock at, at night and I was in no condition to cook, especially when I have to be up at 5.15 the next day. Uh, so just remember to freeze as much as you can. You make chili, make a bunch of it. Make uh, You're making fish, make two two portions and and freeze the other one. What, you get the idea, you're smart people. Okay, so remember, this will not become stream, completely streamlined overnight. Uh, took me some time, but you will find yourself saving money and mental energy. Uh, <laughs> and for proof, go back to doing, after you've done it for a while, go back to doing a week of unplanned meals and let me know how you make out. <laughs> okay, the Friday funny. So, Madison's wife goes into the bathroom and he, and Madison's sucking in his stomach in the bathroom. And she says, you, you know that won't help you to lose weight, right? He says, yeah, but it'll help you to see the numbers on the scale. Two, three, four. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Chris comes home and he smells fresh paint. And he walks in the living room and he sees his wife, Linda, out there laying on the floor in a pool of sweat. Uh, he says, what are you doing? I'm painting the living room, she says. Why are you wearing a fur coat and a, ja and a ski jacket? <clears throat> because the can said, for best results, put on two coats. Yep. <laughs> Have a terrific weekend, everybody, and thank you to Darren Hardy for providing for for providing those those Friday funnies. Have a terrific weekend again. Bye for now. <laughs>